Wild plums are blooming now, and with any luck, there will be a good crop of fruits to enjoy in early summer. But first, they have to endure their annual attack of voracious enemies, the eastern tent caterpillar. These hungry foes hatch just before the leaves break out, among the earliest of all emerging insects. Then, in mass, they eat the developing greenery to complete their own development. Egg masses are common on bare, late winter plum twigs. Tiny larvae chew their way out to start eating as soon as buds break. Since they live in large groups, they can actually denude the plants in some years. But mostly, they are incidental problems that are always outgrown. The insects are called tent caterpillars because they spin webs of silk in which they shelter. Webs or tents hold humidity, act as warming greenhouses on cold April days, and help protect the insects from hungry birds and predators. The webs are dirty, soon littered with frass or waste droppings. The larvae leave their webs three times a day to feed on leaves. And they split their skins and enlarge about six times before they reach full size in several weeks. When caterpillars are full sized, they leave the plum bushes to form cottony cocoons. After a few more weeks, they emerge as adult moths that live only a few days to breed and lay eggs on the twigs. The eggs develop in their hard cases and wait through the whole growing season and winter before emerging again next spring. It's all part of a grand scheme where nature utilizes every niche. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.